Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in tonight. It's your boy NBE slash Nernardel Beastman slash The Mighty Beastman slash uh, slash The Robotic Beastman. Hey, anyways, we're going to be taking a look at the Battlestar Optimus Prime. It came out with the Combiner Wars series of Transformers from like, what, like four or five years ago? It's been a, it's, it's been a minute, so... Here we go. Awesome looking semi truck. I really do like the white and the gold accents. It's very almost Magnus, well, without the gold. But uh, I kind of have this as my stand in for Magnus because the one I do have is from the Fall of Cybertron series, and that's unfortunately not here. Everything else, well, the small portion of it is back behind me just on Magnus so this is again this is my stand-in for Magnus but uh it's really good really good solid solid truck mode nothing pops nothing comes undone everything everything's real tight so take a look at it that is where his guns are stored kind of looks like a looks like an engine how those halves all come in and he doesn't have not painted wheels but I can overlook that. It does have a really nice pearlescent blue uh, paint for his windshields. He doesn't have a whole lot of paint, and that's okay, because uh, the less the paint, I guess in some ways, the better. Less, less you have to worry about rubbing off. So, we're going to disconnect the guns. The guns just all just pop into these little spots back here. So, yeah, there you go, right there. So... Pop that out, put those off to the side. Now, what you do first, these little panels right here, they should just, oh, it's, sorry, it's, it's been a while. These panels just come down, and then you just work everything back. Just move that out of the way, come to the front, and everything just explodes open. Rotate the arms, and then just want to just straighten that all out. So boom, there you go. Boom goes the dynamite. Come down to his feet, whoops them out like so. Separation. Now what you do with the arms, you do it one more time backwards, and like so. So second verse, same as the first. So. We got pretty much his body all assembled. It's just the top part it doesn't have a head. Oh, what happened to him? Whoa. Well, what you do <laughs> is you just, without breaking anything, you might have to pop out this his other combiner head. Give him some clearance. And then you can just tuck all that back in there. And there you go. I mean, it's really cool. It's a... Uh, it's slightly different from the regular Combiner Wars Optimus Prime head. His Combiner head is the same, it's just white. Uh, that's about it. But this, they did do a completely different mold. Um, the head kind of slightly reminds me of the Star Convoy um, Transformer Optimus Prime from Takara that we never got. Well, we, I think we did get here, but I think it might have been way late like the late 90s around there but uh that's what that head that that golden crest on there reminds me of so does have nice autobot stickers on his shoulders oh there you go prime so he's got them on his shoulders they're very g1-esque the re reflective metallic almost tone to them does got some gold right there on for his abs does have some decent posability. Uh, does have a ratchet in his shoulder. This ratchet's on a swivel. And he does have some posability for his elbows. Uh, fortunately, nothing in the hand. You can move the hand up and down, but that's mainly just for combiner mode. Um, doesn't have any um, ab crunching, but he does have a swivel for his way so you can do full 60 full 60 full 360 uh, 
does have ratchet for his thighs, so he can kick out to the side, he can kick out that far back, and he can kick out that far forwards. He does have just a simple knee joint, and you can give him his weapons, and just plug in like so. Standard 5mm pegs. For some reason, he doesn't like to hold hold his regular ion blaster in his hand for some reason. The plastic on the handle could be warped too. It's, it's just a thing. Um, I do like to have him set up kind of differently from Prime. So instead of having his regular head out like this, I'll usually bring that in. And I'll bring out his combiner head. So it kind of looks slightly different from Prime. So, I have him set like this. I kind of have his back kind of folded out like so. So, I mean, it's kind of breaks up the look so it's not just Optimus. But, hey, you know what? Use your imagination, right? Plop these in his hands. You can bust some deceptive chumps. It's a good figure. If you guys are able to ever find this, which I mean, considering it's not like you can just go to the stores and buy it now because it's been what 2014, I think, when Combiner Wars came out. It's been <laughs> it's been a long time. Um, unfortunately, I don't have any of the figures to actually combine them. I never got any of those, but um. I have a couple of the Combiner Wars figures. Not enough to actually make. Uh, I think it was like Optimus Maximus, something, something like that. If if I'm correct, let me know in the comments below. After this video, I'm actually going to look back. But yeah, let uh, tell me what it was in the comments. I do believe it was like Optimus Maximus. I do believe so. But uh, yeah, it's a really good. It's a really good quality figure. Um, it's. It's kind of simple, but that's okay. I kind of have this as a set up with my Ectotron back there too, because it kind of matches the the Ghostbusters color. Uh, if you guys haven't read the uh, Ghostbusters Transformers crossover, Optimus Prime does get a uh, white and red uh, paint scheme, so it, it kind of looks more like Ecto One. Uh, which is a pretty cool little nod of the hat. But uh, yeah, so you can have this stand in as your Magnus. You can have it stand in with, if you wanted something with like a, a crossover Optimus Prime, if you guys weren't able to get that San Diego Comic-Con. Was it was either San Diego Comic-Con or it was a uh, New York Comic-Con? It was, uh, it was with, knowing it's from New York, the whole thing with Ghostbusters, most likely it was a New York Comic-Con exclusive. But nonetheless, this is a great looking figure. Uh, I'm sure you guys can pick it up online, whether it's eBay or private collectors on Facebook or some type of thing related to that. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, it's in my opinion, it's a really good figure. And someday I will get a decent sized Magnus, which I'm looking at that, that Fall of Cybertron or not Fall of Cybertron War for Cybertron uh, Ultra Magnus. So if I ever get that, he can stay up there with Ectotron and Magnus can actually go on the shelf with the other boys, with them boys. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys really like this, please let me know in the comment section. Remember to, you know, leave me a like. You know, you don't have to. You don't have to, but I would appreciate it, you know, if you did. <laughs> so Thank you guys for watching. You guys have a fantastic night and roll out.